What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to throw three three ring boomerangs. We've got the speed racer. We've got the blaze boomerang, which I forgot to show you about. And this one's on the floor. The fling ring. Like if you've been watching some of his videos, you've been seeing me throw so, some of these ones. I don't know if you've seen the blaze one yet. This one is... I'm going to start with the blaze one. The blaze boomerang. I don't know what it is it's exactly called. I'm just going to call it the blaze boomerang. So this one is kind of hard to throw. It's so lightweight and skinny. and So if you throw it like I usually throw like these ones right here. Then it's going to go over your head. Because it's so, it's so freaking lightweight. Yeah, so it will just go over your head basically. So yeah. If you're like younger or something then you'll that's a, this is a good boomerang like for if you're like six if you're like me almost uh, about 10 my both is in like a month to on 10 then i would probably not be throwing this one if you do throw it throw it not that hard if you throw it really hard it's gonna really whip back and spin really fast and come in really fast so this is one of the toughest boomerangs to catch all right and uh, oh yeah by the way this is how you throw it you can use just all the grips, and this is the pinch grip. You just kind of do it like that, and just kind of go whoop. So it's like and, pu and put it back in your arm like that, and just do it like that to create that, maximum. That's the pinch spin. grip. That's the pinch. This is also called the pistol grip. Which is what you use. No, I use the dull. You this use the dull. This is the pistol grip. I'm not for sure. I think this is something like it. I just kind of just do that. Yeah. The last one is the double pistol grip. You use it like this. It's kind of hard to see. Look at that. Double pistol grip. And just throw. That's what I usually do. But I recommend the pinch grip for this one. Because, I is there a difference? Um, yeah, yeah. I feel like the pinch grip, you get the most spin and snap. So, uh, yeah. You get the most spin and snap with the pinch grip. It's probably the best grip to use. But you can still... Do what you're, you're comfortable with. Like, you could use the pistol grip, or you could use double pistol grip. Or I'm comfortable with that. So what you want. All right, we're moving on to the next boomerang, the speedway saw. And there's also a tip for all boomerangs you use. I don't think you can use this tip for two wings, but like three wing plastic ones, you should bend all the wings just down a little bit. This is what I usually do. Would that just make it like and, and then you kind of throw it, not like straight, straight, oh, straight, yeah. but you kind of tilt it like this, and then usually I get that to come back even more. And throw it the horizon, usually. Or if it's coming up too short, throw it a little higher. Coming up too long, throw it a little bit lower. All right, now I'm going to talk about how to throw this one. So basically, it's kind of like that one. Like all three wing boomerangs, you kind of throw the same, but there's a little difference. Like... You can use the pinch grip, of course, the pistol grip, or the double pistol grip, the same. Same with the uh, fling ring, you use the same grips. But I feel comfortable with this one using the pinch grip or the double pistol grip. What, what do you normally use? I usually use the pinch grip, sometimes the double pistol grip, depending on which boomerang I'm using. I usually like to use the double pistol grip for the fling ring. I it just I seem that to get that to return better. It gets more spin and snap on it. But the pinch grip for this one it feels like I get more spin and snap. Mm. But if I use the pinch grip here I won't get as much spin and snap. Because this one's a little bit more slippery, the fling wing's a bit more slippery. So I like to use a double pistol grip. So this one I think I already explained it. <laughs> Basically. Alright, fling wing time. Then the wing if you want a little bit. Again, you can use the same grips, but I used comfortable with the double pistol grip with this boy. I never really use the pistol grip, but you can, right? I, I'll try it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to throw, it's kind of like this, I think. That's kind of the pinch grip and the double pistol grip. Yeah, this is the pistol grip, actually, like this pistol grip, double pistol grip. And pinch grip. Is that about it? That's about it. You aim this else? one. I usually like to aim this one maybe a little lower than the horizon or at the horizon. Do you want to bring in your two rings now or for a different video? We're going to do a two, how to throw a two ring boomerang like for the next video. And then those are usually harder to come back because you have to 
have kind of a strong arm to get. Or they them are just back. like they're like. Meant you you have to be kind of old to throw the two wings because. Usually kids like me can't really get them to return them as much. Did, did you ever get one to successfully return? Yes, I actually did get a two wing once to come right back where I was. And two wings is they fly further out than three wings because you have to throw it hard on the circle back, kind of like that. Three wings kind of go woo. Yeah, three wings are like crazy. And they're fast. Three wings are faster. Most of them. Yeah. And that's about all So I have to say. All right. Goodbye. Have fun.